Chris Meyer, you're with Lawrence. You're one of the first guys to run this unit. Tell us what's so special about the Elite 7 HDI. The Elite 7 is a unit that has built-in GPS, broadband sonar, and down view. We have two different price points. So there's a 599 version that's going to come with your HST WSBL transducer. So that's your standard Lorenz yeah, transducer. Yeah, just yep, sonar GPS. To get the down view for 699, you're going to get this HDI transducer. If you buy the 599 version, you can always buy this transducer later and add it to the Elite 7 HDI, and then you'll have mapping, broadband sonar, and down view. So you have all those things built into the HDI unit. Yes, sir. The first thing I noticed about this Elite 7 HDI is this big wide screen. Yeah, the, the widescreen format is found in TVs, your iPads, all your tablets. So it's just a nice easy transition to start going towards the widescreen format. Um, the nice part about the widescreen format, when we have this in a three panel split, you can have your map, your traditional sonar, and your down view, and it fits real nicely on one screen. The sonar it's built in is broadband sonar, so it's the same sonar that HDS has and the down view, which is very similar to our down view and structure scan. The GPS, it's internal, internal antenna. We can accept the Lowrance Insight Pro card and the Navionics Premium cards as far as cartography. This unit has the capability for uh, Insight Genesis mapping as well? It does. So if you are an Insight Genesis user, you can log your sonar data on this unit, go back home on your computer, and it'll convert and make your own map. And that map you can save on an SD card, put right in your Elite 7, you're off and running Insight Genesis. As far as connections on the back, you'll see there's NEMA 2000. NEMA 2000 in the Elite 7 is for waypoint transfer and LGC 4000 hookup only. If I have two of these units, they can communicate back and forth. Yes, yeah, you can share your waypoints back and forth between, if you have, say, an HDS or LCX LMS product, you can buy this, hook it in, add the NEMA 2000 bus and share your waypoints. When you mark one on here, it'll put it on your front unit and vice versa. Uh, the power cord is the same power cord that uh, HDS uses, that LCX LMS use. So if you have, say, an LCX 25 and it died, you can take this, put it in its place without having to do any re-rigging of your boat. So if I'm a Lowrance owner and I have blue plug connectors, I can connect it to any existing blue plug uh, that I have in the boat. You got it. To get the down view, you need to add the HDI transducer, which comes in the 699 package. The 599 package comes with your traditional 83200. The average guy going fishing, what are the things he should look for when he's taking the Elite 7 HDI out on the water for the very first time? Press pages, you'll notice the new page layout. So we can have a full screen structure, a full screen broadband sonar, a full screen GPS, sonar plus GPS, sonar plus down view, sonar plus down view, and our three panel page. I like the three panel page. Um, it gives us three vertical columns. We have our GPS, our traditional 2D sonar, and our down view. You can get on the water and get the feel for what what you want to see. You know, when I look at this widescreen unit, it's surprising how much screen space is dedicated to each view. Do you have the capability to adjust that at all? If you want to adjust all of these windows, this is the first Elite product where you've actually been able to customize your screens and what you're going to see and how big they are. If you hit the pages and menu, you can go down and adjust your split to be over under uh, or side by side. You can adjust the chart panel page or the sonar panel pages depending on how you want to do them. So we want to have a little bigger chart page. We hit enter on adjust chart panel and then we just uh, take and slide it over. The sonar pages will adjust equally. So if I'm navigating, I'm running water where my chart is very important to me that I see the majority of that, I'm still not giving up my sonar reading or my down scan reading. You got it. Let's go out and see how that sonar looks on the water. Okay, we've got three screens up like you suggested. Yep. Uh, so we're seeing our, our mapping page, we're seeing our broadband sonar, and we're seeing our down scan. Yep. How do I go from page to page to page so I can adjust the uh, different uh, menus on those specific pages? If you hit 
pages, pages, it'll rotate us to the next screen. So now we're on our map page. If I hit pages, pages, it will bring us to our traditional sonar screen. And if we want to go to the down view, we hit pages, pages, and now we're on the down view. And these units have the track back feature on them so I can go back and store a waypoint, correct? Yep. So now if we're sitting here trying to not, you know, hit anyone. We can actually take and scroll back in history and hit enter, enter. And now we just marked a waypoint so we can go back to those fish. So what I'm seeing now is a widescreen unit brought out by Lawrence and the Elite 7 HDI that gives you absolutely incredible detail. Yeah, I mean, like you can count every single one of those fish. Unbelievable.